Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you the difference between the waveform editor and the multi-track view in Adobe Audition CC. So here we are, this is the waveform view. This is brilliant for looking closely at waveforms. And then you've got the multi-track view. Let me go file new multi-track session and we'll call this multi. And this gives us multiple different tracks to work with. So that's the difference. Waveform is one single track. Multi-track is mixing together multiple tracks. Let me give you an example. Here's a voiceover. You're locked in. And say I wanted to mix that together with this voiceover. The 5 o'clock rock plug. It's quite hard to do that in waveform. I'd have to do copying and pasting and mixing and well, it'd be really hard to overlap, but multi-track makes it easy. Over in multi-track, we go over to my multi-session here. I can go ahead and drag in this voiceover, drop it, and I can go ahead and drag this voiceover in, drop it. And then when it's all loaded in, I can delete little bits and all of this is non-destructive. That's another thing about multi-track compared to waveform. I can make changes, I can delete things, but I can always get the things back like that by stretching back out. Whereas if I make a delete here in waveform, it's gone. And it's given me a warning there that it will affect my multi-track, of course, and a little triangle there. So I will undo that because I've made a change to the actual waveform. That is destructive, but multi-track is not. So I can essentially now mix these clips together. You're locked in. The five o'clock rock plug. Okay, and I can make that really tight. You're locked in. The five o'clock rock plug. So I can mix and overlap clips. This is one of the best things about multi-track. The same with uh, destructive and non-destructive. If I go ahead and add on effect, so let's add on dynamics and lots of compression, lots of compression. Okay. You're locked in. That's now locked in to my voiceover, unless I hit command or control Z to undo it. Or Z, if you're the other side of the pond, of course. Uh, and then it's back. You're locked in. To what it was before. But over here, I can non-destructively add different effects here in my effects rack. And again, I can say I want to add that dynamics effect. You're locked in. The and that's working there. I can also go ahead and uh, put a dynamics effect over here on the second track. And I can Locked change in. this. The five o'clock rock block. I can make the threshold much less. Five o'clock. <laughs> really compressed there. And do all that kind of cool stuff inside multi-track. And I can experiment uh, with the order of my effects. So I can put on some equalization as well. Let's do that. Parametric equalizer. You're locked in. And I might say, well, actually, do you know what? I fancy putting the equalizer before the compressor. Let's do that. You're locked in. It's the a drag, drag and drop kind of thing there, which is really easy to do in multi-track. Multi-track is also really good if you're editing podcasts. So, for instance, if I'm here with an interview track, actually two interview tracks, it's really hard to overlap them and make them fit. Usually you've got one track with your podcast host and another track with your podcast guest. This is where we'll need a podcast multi-track here, where I can then go ahead and drag in track number one and track number two and overlap them. And you'll see how they fit perfectly. So you can see our host is speaking here. But if I am correct, and I'll let, keep it all in. <laughs> I just I remember. So there we go. You can see there's the host, there's the guest speaking, and it works perfectly. I can also eliminate noise from this track and eliminate noise from this track and do a nice little cross fade here in the multi-track. Keep it all in. <laughs> I just, I remember recently. So there we go. You can see I can do nice little edits. I can even tighten things up and do all kinds of stuff. Another cool thing about multi-track is you can do ripple delete, which is especially good for podcasting. Delete something from one track, right click, ripple delete, time selection in all tracks, boom. It'll make a cut on all tracks and budge them up. Ripple delete, another great advantage of multi-track over waveform. So where does waveform win then? Why would you not just use multi-track all the time for editing, adding effects, overlapping stuff? It seems a lot better than waveform, right? Well, almost. But there is a reason you'd use waveform. First of all, detailed editing. You can't beat the waveform view for really zooming in and getting granular. Another thing you can't do in multi-track, which you can do in waveform, is open up spectral frequency display here, Shift and D, or this icon up here. And you can really get granular here and look here at the frequencies in your voice. So for de-essing, 
finding specific frequencies and also finding noise in between your speech and eliminating it with tools such as effects noise reduction process this can only be done in waveform so something to bear in mind there obviously multi-track good for many things but detailed editing noise reduction and looking at specific frequencies it's going to work for you the best in waveform <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,